Howdy from Destination Everywhere. We're roaming Wyoming, the cowboy state, and that's right here in the Northwest USA. We're your hosts, Mandy, Orlando, and that's Abraham. In this video, we visit Cheyenne, Laramie, and Chugwater. We visit the state capital, the world's largest steam train, a variety of museums, and we go hunting for cowboy boots and jeans and find out why Wyoming is the equality state. We do some time in Laramie Prison and have fun on the ranch with these guys. Don't try this at home. There's plenty of food along the way and of course we sample Wyoming's finest ale. Move over Abraham, we've got some new friends coming along. Cheyenne is the capital of Wyoming and we start exploring downtown at the Cheyenne Depot Plaza at the Depot Plaza Museum, a railroad museum housed in the old Union Pacific Railroad Depot. It tells the story of the Transcontinental Railroad and its passengers. Look at their suitcases, they're like walk-in wardrobes. Upstairs in the museum is probably the best model railway you'll ever see. Who has a canyon in their train set? And this is a hand-carved replica of the world's largest steam locomotive, the Big Boy 4004. Coincidentally, we found the real thing when we were walking Abraham in Holiday Park, one of the only eight remaining in the United States. And during our walk, we stumbled upon a random hand-painted cowboy boot. Apparently, it's a thing. Cowboy boots around town, like an Easter egg hunt. Each boot is painted by a different artist and has a different theme, and there are 25 of them to find. This one was hidden in a drive through ATM. This one celebrates the 100th anniversary of the Chamber of Commerce, and there's a Pony Express boot right next to it. There are more to be found around the Cheyenne Depot Plaza, with names like where the deer and antelope come to play. A good pair of cowboy boots needs a good pair of jeans to match, so we're heading to the iconic Wrangler store. Not what I had in mind. No, and definitely not these. What does a cowgirl wear? The Cowgirls of the West will know, a small but very interesting grassroots museum showcasing pioneering women. Long before the Cowgirls did this and this, Wyoming was wild and full of cowboys. To entice women to move to the state, Wyoming passed the suffrage law in 1869, declaring it an equality state, giving all women the right to vote. That did the trick. The women's rights theme is prevalent here. This statue honors the role of women settling the West. And look what we found at the bank, the equal rights boot. Oh, is that the time? Thank goodness for the Albany, famous for its prime rib. Do you think this soup is thick enough? With bellies full, we're off to the state capital, a must see in our book to really get a feel for the state and the architecture and art are usually spectacular. Look at this checkerboard marble floor and cherry wood staircases. It's like being in a museum with all of the sculptures, the murals, and of course, the stained glass ceilings, imported from England. But the most famous room is the Supreme Court Chamber, where the women's suffrage law was written into the state constitution, making this building a national landmark. Our next stop is the Wyoming State Museum. Wait a minute, is that a boot? It is, and it's called Licensed to Boot. This small museum exhibits Wyoming's wildlife. Bison, elk, pronghorn, prairie dog, armadillo, moose, grizzly bear, black bear, gray wolf, rattlesnake, milk snake, mountain lion, and cute fat peekers. There's also Native American history and culture with exhibits showing elk tooth jackets, beaded moccasins, and fancy feathered headgear. And then of course, we know the rest of the story. The government put their land up for sale to expand the West, even though the land wasn't for sale. And in came the white settlers in their covered wagons. It's a small museum and a quick stop on the way to the governor's house.
It's interesting to see the style of furniture and the necessary bomb shelter underground, but my favorite part was the sunroom with its views. Oh, and this fun cowboy boot lamp. I wanted to take it home with me, but I refrained. I think it's about time we sampled Wyoming's beer. This place looks perfect and there's lots to choose from. And the first thing I do in every state is do a flight of beer. Oh, I ordered this one because of the name. It's called a mini wee. A mini wee and it's a scotch ale. I do like scotch ale. Oh yeah, that's my favorite so far. A sour posse and that is a fruity Berliner Weiss. Uh, that is sour. No, absolutely not. Somebody else can have that, and I am going back to my Scotch ale. So, cheers, Wisconsin. <laughs> Wisconsin, what the? <laughs> it begins with W. Didn't say anything. Cheers, Wyoming. The trip to Cheyenne is not complete without a ride out to the Terry Bison Ranch to get up close and personal with the bison, or buffalo, and they come running for mouthfuls of this. Also on the ranch is Senator's Steakhouse. It's full of cowboys and tourists alike, sometimes has live music, and the food is excellent. What did we have? Don't ask, we're embarrassed, but Abraham loved the bones. We're heading out of town now on Lincoln Highway, America's first transcontinental road for cars. Oh, can we stop here please, Dad? Ah, Abraham wants his photo taken with Abraham Lincoln. Okay, Abraham, smile, smile, smile. Well, now you're just being silly. Look at this random tree growing out of a rock on the side of the road. That's so amazing. I wonder what it's called. Mm, tree rock, okay, makes sense. Laramie is the third largest town in Wyoming, a cowboy town and a college town with the University of Wyoming and many of the main tourist attractions are on the campus grounds. The university colors are brown and gold after Wyoming's wildflower, the brown-eyed Susan. You never know what you're going to find at art museums and we found these. They're called Weavings of Love by this Malaysian artist. It's intricate and colorful weaving. And yes, they're garden rakes, kitchen knives, woven with beads. The result is actually quite beautiful. But if that's not your thing, there's the Geological Museum across campus with its dinosaur skeletons, a large collection of gems and crystals. And the best part is playing in the sandbox like a kid and creating your own mountains and rivers. So what's Laramie's most famous tourist attraction then? The Wyoming Territorial Prison. Go directly to jail, do not pass go. Okay, okay, I'm going. This was a working prison for 30 years and crimes ranged from stealing cattle to murder. The inmates were allowed to smoke, read books, exercise in the courtyard and take a weekly bath. A weekly bath? Ew. But they were also hard at work every day making brooms and when they got out they were given a suit and five dollars and sent on their merry way. Ever seen the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kids starring Robert Redford and Paul Newman? Well Butch Cassidy was one of this prison's most famous inmates. Real name Robert Parker. He was a bit of a Robin Hood stealing from the rich to help the poor and he led authorities on a wild chase all over Wyoming before his capture. 
Well, we've done our time and we're heading up to Chugwater now for our last stop. We heard they have Wyoming's oldest soda fountain and award-winning chili. So it would be rude not to make the stop. So I'm going in. This is chili for breakfast. I'm not surprised how famous for that. That is really Well, that's a wrap for Roaming Wyoming Part 1. Did you love it? If you did, you know what to do. Please subscribe, like and share. Thanks for letting us share the world with the world and we'll see you in Roaming Wyoming Part 2.